pretty good idea. And all, you know, if you look at the, the Declaration of Independence, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men, all human beings, <laughs> are created equal. I mean, that is unique among the history of the countries of the world, and it's, and it's an amazing thing. And we, we've had our, our issues through our history, there's no question, but we're constantly striving to live up to that idea. Like, that's what makes this country different, and I think that's what we, we, should, we should strive for. I wanted to, while we're open for comments, yes, here, please, yes. draw the parallel between xenophobia and Islamophobia and this sense of otherness and wars. I mean, as soon as Bush declared war on terror, I took exception. Wars are declared between states. These people are outlaws. They should be treated as criminals, not as warriors. But what institutions do when you declare war is you stigmatize and dehumanize the enemy. And xenophobia is the easiest and quickest way to do that. We did that about the Germans, First World War, Second World War. We did it about the Japanese and the head in our own internment camps. And so it's all one big ball of wax. This Islamophobia is part of war, and xenophobia is you know, underpinning all that. So playing on that fear, uh, just blowing on the flames to inflame the, right. the war terror. So one of the things with Islamophobia is that we conflate Muslims out there, which is a huge world, all different types of Muslim countries with Muslims here. Hmm. And as we were just talking about, like Muslims have been in this country for a long time. You know, they're as American as apple pie, as they say. Hmm. People have fought for this country. They've died for this country, but happen to be Muslim. There are people that are serving as political leaders, as religious leaders, who do a lot of amazing things for communities. And somehow, these people have to speak about something that happens in Iraq just because they, sh they share the same faith. And the problem with Islamophobia is, again, it, we shouldn't treat it as Islam or Muslims as a monolith. Hmm. After 9-11, George Bush came out and he said, they attacked us because they, they hate our freedoms. Hmm. When you say they, you call everyone out there. Mm -hmm. So it's the people that flew the planes into the building become the same types of people as the civilians mm -hmm. who could be Muslim, they could be not really practicing Muslim, they could be peace-loving people, they could run charities, they could do <clears> this <throat> and they could do that. But everything gets lumped into the same category. And that's really the problem <clears throat> with Islamophobia. When, when Donald Trump says something like, Islam hates us, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, that's an absurd comment. 